Good evening, everyone. I'm Kelly Jackson. Tonight, new information about that shocking armed robbery of a 13-year-old boy. He told police a group of teenagers robbed him Monday after he got off the school bus on the city's north side. New tonight, the teen's grandfather shares his grandson's story with Robert Townsend. Uh, I'm upset. A furious Calvin Clifton is still shaking his head after what happened to his 13-year-old grandson. If he can't wear what he want to wear, then... It's crazy. Monday afternoon, the boy told police he got off his school bus on Greer Avenue and walked towards the intersection of Sullivan and Vandervanter Avenue when 10 teenagers approached him and asked if he wanted to buy some marijuana. He said no, and they said give it up. Clifton says one of the teenagers pointed a gun at his grandson's chest while another boy aimed a gun at the seventh grader's side. This grateful granddad's relieved his grandson wasn't hurt. Right, and that's the thing he said. I'm glad I didn't get shot. The young robber stole the middle schoolers. He got off the school. Wow. Bus the so he's walking around with these Balenciagas. Wow. Here, his designer. Wow. Those are like cool. Those are like hot and fresh and stuff. Oh yeah, this generation they like ugly shoes. This shit is ugly as hell. Yeah, all the all their stuff, even like I think all the fashion nowadays is ugly as hell. Um like all a bunch of chopped up. Yeah, I think that's true. Bag. So these shoes, these shoes could go for these Balenciagas. I mean, shit. Let me see if I can find the exact make the exact one, but you can you talking about five hundred to a thousand dollars for these shoes. Um, That's why I get my shoes from Shoe Carnival. Ain't nobody rocking my ass. Yeah, at least a hundred thousand. That pair right there looked like. Um, I can't find the exact pair, but it looks like it might be about a thousand bucks, man. Um, I'm more of a shoe station guy. Or yeah. rack room shoes. I'm more of a whatever my wife buys me type guy or New Balance. I, I wear New Balance, but um. If my um my wife usually buys my my stuff because I'm just I don't got lazy with all that stuff since, since I got married buying clothes and shit. Um, I'm trying to figure out what these exact pair called because I see the I see it um I see the the, the, the I see the, the pair. Garbaggios. Um, shit, that's crazy. Wow, uh, eleven hundred dollars. These ones are eleven hundred dollars. God, that's dumb as shit. I was a sneakerhead when I was younger, so I get it. I give it a pass. I've bought boats cheaper than that. Yeah, I mean, I get, I get a sneakerhead thing. If, but if you're a fucking little sun team and you're around sons, like. 11 something that's valued at eleven hundred dollars and you're not built like that you basically put your child in what very in harm's way your kid your kid gotta be a fucking savage to walk around with these man just um, imagine giving your kid eleven hundred dollars in cash to walk around with it's basically the same thing yeah exactly it, it, it's just it's just it's just unbelievable uh, in my day, man, I remember Jordans were like a hundred dollars when they first started being a hundred dollars. I think I was in the seventh or eighth grade, and my mom's like, "I'm not paying hundred dollars for no tennis shoes." Wasn't hurt, right? And that's the thing he said. I'm glad I didn't get shot. The young robber stole the middle schooler's seven hundred dollar Balenciaga tennis shoes, similar to the ones pictured here. His designer belt and book bag. Clifton says his grandson is an only child, loves football, and his aunt bought the sneakers for him for being a good kid. That's what pees me the most. Yeah, but if you're good, you don't give a good kid something that's going to fucking make him a mark, a target, especially if he's a good kid. No shoes on, broad daylight, not even three o'clock yet. That's crazy. The terrified teen ran for his life. He ran, but he said a guy gave him a ride to the corner, and he told the guy to let him out because they was following him. 
Innocent kid trying, trying to walk home. The callous crime happened near Pastor Gregory Purnell's church. He has a message for the 13-year-old. Keep your head up. Keep doing the right thing. Keep going to school. I talked to the boy's mother. She didn't want to go on camera, but she tells me right now her son is still trauma.